And welcome back to another session of Gaming with God. I'm your host, Grumpy Old Dude. Alright, we are in the Chaos Sanctuary. I have restarted the game. I had to run an air and I was gone for about an hour and a half. Came back and Battle.net had dropped me or I'd been idle for too long, whatever. So I restarted the game, which I probably would have done anyway, because I was real close to leveling. Uh, ran back to the Chaos Sanctuary, leveled. Uh, now I get nine skeletons instead of eight. I put the five points into, vi uh, into dex dexterity instead of vitality. The reason I did that was the Necromancer only gets two life points for every vitality point. So I thought maybe if I put it into dexterity, uh, I get some better defensive value out of it. There was zero change to five points into dexterity. Of course, if I'd put him into vitality, I'd have gone from 272 to 282, so not a big deal there. That's why the map layout looks a little different because it is a different game. Uh, here's the fifth seal, and we are going to face now the demon that I have never beaten without dying first. While they do that, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to open a town portal. Oh, I want a town portal. Right there. God! Damn. You have got to be shitting me. Oh. Okay. I turned around to run and was running and died uh, just instantly. All right. We have to go back and redo our army. We have to rebuild our army. Back here to the road camp. I can't believe it died that way. Golem. 
there's um, my skeletal mage. Now we gotta go back and get some money, get our good day 5,500 again. Mercenary back. So, oh, we can have one more skeleton. Only got eight there. We can have nine. And I want nine. What the hell? Oh, I don't have my wand giving me my plus one. I don't have my gear on. That's right. Great. We're going to run into there. Diablo's all going to be there. No, he's... Bad guys are still there. Pandemonium Fortress. Is our town portal still there? That blue chunks. Yep, here we go. Oh shit. Son of a bitch. Don't stop. Still on your ass. God, I got through that just in time. Okay, first, we come down here and get our bubble refill. Greetings. Fill our belt. Now we're going to go someplace and rebuild our army again.
Let's find some more stuff to kill. Here's those nine. There's that guy. That guy, okay. Now we go back to town and get 5,500 gold again and get our mercenary back again. I got out of there before he killed me. There's that. Now, let's get this set up. Okay, so, here we go. Okay, that time they managed, all of them combined, killed him. Now we go running back into there, and yes, I'll slow down and walk so that I don't have zero stamina get there. And I lost the skeleton. I am retiring the Necro. Sorry guys. I am done with the Necro. I can't survive to get to Diablo. let alone past him. So what I'm going to do is move as much of his stuff that's worth putting in shared inventory as I can. And I am retiring this character. It's simply not worth continuing. Okay, five times I failed on breaking the fifth seal to survive long enough to even face Diablo. Instantly, the demon would show up, I would turn to run, and I was already dead. 
I didn't even make it to Diablo. Five times. Um, I'm retiring the Necromancer. There's just no point in continuing. Um, there is one option. There is, in fact, one option. Perhaps, I don't remember if I respect him or not. If I have not respect the Necromancer, of course, an issue. Why wouldn't there be an issue? Maybe I've put too many points too soon in the strength and dexterity. If I can go in and just thought about that, if I can still respect the character, Lobby, create game, Grumpy 11, I know I haven't done that game yet. I'll have to go back to uh, the rogue encampment. I just moved all this gear to the shared stash. <laughs> He's wearing nothing now. His personal stash is Nothing I can do with the money, I don't think. Let's withdraw that. Can I deposit that to the shared stash? Maybe. Let's take a look here. And see. Yes. Yep, I'd already respect. Oh, he's still got his gear here. Crap, and I'm out of places to put stuff. Okay, so what's here that I really don't care if it's here or not? A couple of set pieces. That could go away. That's no more, no foul. That's that great starting wand for the Necromancer, but I'm retiring the character. I've never played a druid, so probably no point in keeping druid stuff. That can't be shared. Anyway, I'm going to get this set up. Um, this character has gone as far as he can go. Uh, at least as far as I can take him. Maybe I can start another Necromancer and get him caught up to this. I don't know. Um, let's see. Belt there. there. Gloves there. Twelve keys. There's no need to keep those. Keep that. That's jammed up. Those are easily replaced by comparison. So anyway, I will, I don't know if I'll delete the character or not. I might keep the character on the board, but as far as playing this character, nothing beyond 
the opening stages of Act 4. He cannot complete Act 4. Um, dying five times at the same spot. Just, there's no point to it. So, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do next. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, have fun. Take care. Stay safe. All that kind of good stuff. And as always, until I see you again, stay the hell off my front yard. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.